Primo Top. I'm Sydney's top personal trainer and welcome to Rush Cutters Bay here in Sydney, Australia. Beautiful location where I do all my training. I've been helping people to make a massive difference to their health and quality of life for about 20 years and today I want to share with you five tips that will make a real difference to your health and quality of life. Now these tips are going to seem very simple but from my experience they are very profound and they are the ones that are going to make a real difference to how you look and feel and how you enjoy your quality of life. But before we get started you probably have never met me before so I'd like to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I'm certainly no natural athlete and um, I was probably a little bit like you when I first got started. I just wanted to get fit and get in shape and now I've been doing it for 20 years and I love it. I love helping people make a real difference to their health and their quality of life and that is why I'm here today with you to share my top tips for better health. So let's get started. Are you ready? The first tip is really, really simple but really important and that is to drink lots of water. Very simple, you've heard it all before I'm sure, but the fact is, are you doing it? See, the thing with health is that most people know what to do but they're not really doing it. And that's why people out there like you probably need a coach to help guide them and show them what really works when it comes to health. Now your body is made of about 70% water, not coke or coffee or skim latte it's made of water so that means that you really need to drink water for optimal health and well-being now I would recommend when you start your day start with a big glass of water do the first thing before you even have your cup of tea or coffee glass of water and then during the day make sure you drink plenty of water don't worry about that eight glasses of water rule that's a bit of a myth just make sure you're drinking more water than other beverages like um, soft drinks, cordials, fruit juices, teas and coffees. All those things should be really a bit of a bonus and the main thing you should drink is water. At the end of the day, water contains no calories so it is nature's natural calorie free drink so it's good for weight loss and for health and optimal well-being. Okay, so tip number two. Again, you've heard it all before, but are you doing it? It's to exercise. You all know to exercise, but are you exercising? Are you exercising regularly, and are you exercising consistently? Now, there's a big myth when it comes to exercise that you have to exercise for one hour. Now, that's not true. You can get a great time-effective workout in 20 to 30 minutes if you do the right kind of strategies. Now, this isn't a uh, fitness DVD where I'm going to show you exercise. I just want to empower you with the right tips for you to get out there and get into it. But basically, if you're not exercising at all, start basic. Get out there, do some walking, walk around the park, walk to work, just start with walking. If you're already doing some walking, step it up a bit. Put in a little bit of jogging and maybe start to do some resistance training, get to the gym or get a trainer to show you what to do. You really need to aim for exercising for three to four times a week for around about 20 to 40 minutes and that's a realistic goal for maintaining and optimizing your health and well-being. Great for stress, great for longevity, great for your energy levels. It really is the magic pill for health and well-being. So if you're not exercising, get out there and start with some walking. If you are exercising, aim for the three to four sessions for 20 to 30 to 40 minutes at a time. And make sure you are working. So often, so many people just aren't training hard enough. They, they're having a long conversation, they've hardly got any sweat up. So make sure you are challenging, your, sorry, challenging yourself, but obviously make sure you don't overdo it as well. Okay, tip number three. It boils down to healthy eating. Again, you know what to eat and what not to eat, but are you doing it? My simplest rule for healthy eating is to eat fresh and natural, real food and avoid the man-made processed rubbish. Things that are typically coming out of packets and tins, preheated meals, junk food takeaway, you want to really stay away from that. That is a sometimes food. It's not a treat. It's a sometimes food. Stick to food that you recognize as food from nature. For example, an apple comes off a tree. It hasn't been manipulated by man. Nuts have not been manipulated by man unless they've been roasted and, and salted. 
fresh fruit, vegetables, legumes, all that kind of stuff, it's real food. The occasional piece of steak, some fish, it's real food. Again, if you, to help you discern what is a real food, if it's, obviously a lot of food does come in packets these days, but just a great way to find out how the quality of the food is to read a food label. So for example, when you buy a packet of strawberries, it doesn't come with a big food label with 500 chemicals and E numbers in it, does it? Whereas if you pick up a commercialized cereal or any kind of pre-ready cooked meal, if you look on the food label, you will see a dozen or so different E numbers and chemicals and things you can't even say. Why do you want to put that crap in your body? It's, it's rubbish. I mean, they say it's been certified for human consumption, but do you really want to put a chemical in your body that you can't even say? Personally, I say no to chemicals. So rule number three is eat fresh food and avoid the man-made processed crap. Okay, moving on. Number four is meditation. Now we live in a very busy world where a lot of us are stressed, very busy minds. We're always rushing from one thing to the next, always thinking, always doing. We need to stop. You need to stop, slow down and calm down and give yourself some space to think and to breathe. Now, you might think that you can't meditate, you get a bit fidgety, that's pretty normal, and that probably goes to show that you do need to do some meditation. So I would say start basic. Just sit on a, a beautiful park bench outdoors in the sunshine, close your eyes and focus on your breath. So why don't we just do a little bit of that right now. Close your eyes and follow along with me. We're just gonna close your eyes and just take some deep breaths. You're gonna breathe in, and exhale. Breathing in and exhale. And as you do it, you might like to think you're breathing in ease and comfort and you're exhaling tension. As you exhale, you're releasing the things in your body, emotions that you don't want, that don't serve you. Stress, worry, fears, anxieties. And you're breathing in ease and you're exhaling those worries. So just do one more on your own. Breathing in and exhale all those worries. Feeling better already, I'm sure. And your last tip from Timo Top Sydney's top trainer is sleep. Again, something very basic, but it's during your sleep that you go through your body's repair and growth. And the thing is, most people, particularly you know, people working busy corporate lives, do not get A, enough sleep, or B, they have very poor quality sleep. They're waking up during the night, they're waking up the next day, and they're not feeling refreshed and rested. But you can actually do simple things that can make a profound difference to your quality of sleep. Uh, creating a sleep routine. So going to bed at a similar time every day, around about 10 o'clock is recommendable. Waking up at a similar time every day. And also, before you're going to sleep, a little relaxation routine, so turning, dimming lights, going to candles, and most importantly, not using electronics, not looking at screens, not doing work, not checking emails, not watching television right up to the moment you go to bed. Just getting into a routine that will help induce relaxation and maybe reading some nice leisurely material, a magazine and a book, not work material so that you'll go to bed with busy thoughts. And here's a real tip for your sleep. If you find that you wake up and you can't get back to sleep, your bed is for sleep. Get up, go to another room, maybe get yourself a glass of milk or make a chamomile tea or a glass of water, sit down for a few minutes, maybe even read a book for a few minutes, and then return to bed. You should find that you will drop off easily. If you don't, do that again. Your bed is for sleep. So do not lie there tossing and turning because you will help to create a little bit of sleep anxiety where you can obviously sometimes worry about going to sleep. Well there you go, very simple tips but very profound. Your top five tips for better health and well-being. Drinking plenty of water, doing some exercise, eating real food, not processed rubbish, doing some meditation and getting a good quality night's sleep. Well, thanks for tuning in to uh, Mr. T, Sydney's top trainer here in Sydney's Australia. I hope you've enjoyed this short but informative video and I look forward to you tuning in again to see some revolutionary top tips. Get real, have a great life and be the best you can be.
Hi, I'm Timo Top. I'm Sydney's top trainer, and welcome to Rush Cutters Bay, where I do. Hi, I'm Timo Top. I'm Sydney's top personal trainer, and welcome to Rush Boat. Hi, I'm Timo Top. I'm Sydney's top.